It was just about 5 o'clock, one of the airport's busiest hours, that all landing and takeoffs were halted after two pilots reported seeing a drone at 3,500 feet. It was visible near Teterboro Airport, just 17 miles to the north, but in the very flight path to Newark. It was a white knuckler for sure for passengers as planes circled until it was safe to land. Brett Sosnick tweeted, just landed at Newark. Our United flight had to circle because of stop takeoffs and landings due to nearby drone activity. Time to come up with technology to remotely shut down these drones. In another tweet, Marcus Owens wrote, if you're flying a drone near EWR right now, could you ground it and have a sandwich or something? You just shut down all arrivals. There was cause for concern. Obviously a safety concern. You know, I mean, these things could hit, like the birds hit the wings and the birds hit the propellers and a plane can come down. My son just flew in from Barcelona. He was on one of those planes that had to be delayed. It's very nerve wracking. You know, drones need to be uh, played with in their own area. They, don't, they shouldn't play with them around the airport because it's dangerous. You know? They're a nuisance and they shouldn't be allowed, obviously. But what can they do? How can you stop them being, people who are allowed to own them privately? So how do you stop them flying over the airport? The FAA prohibits drones from being flown anywhere within five miles of any airport. Hours after the shutdown, the board showed still many delays, departures, as well as arrivals. Now authorities have launched an investigation to try and find the individual who was flying that drone. If caught, that individual faces up to a fine of up to $25,000 as well as criminal charges. As of this hour, we're told all operations here in Newark are back to normal.